Okay guys, I'm back. Um, so what I did with the Strat is um, the string action was pretty high, so I brought it down, uh, adjusted up the pickup. Um, the scalp and neck is something to get used to. <laughs> you can't really push too hard because it actually um, goes sharp and flat. I find anyway. The frets need a polish on this one, looks like. Um, pickups actually sound pretty good, but they're pretty, uh, um, I'm going to say they're, they're not a hot pickup by any means, like volume wise. Um, not nearly as loud as the humbuckers are, but it's actually not bad sounding considering I have no idea what they are. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll take the camera off in, the, in a bit and uh, I'll go over it closer so you guys can see the actual scallops and everything on here. Um, so yeah, other than that, that's all I did to it. And, uh, and it plays okay. Like I said, this is my first Strat I've gotten from China. Um, I was kind of leery because I always found out they did a better job with the Les Pauls. Um, but this one's actually pretty nice. Like the, I can't believe how tight the neck joint is on this compared to some of the pictures I've seen of other ones. So maybe I just got lucky and got a half decent one. Um, anyway, that's that. I'll play these in a minute so you can hear them. Uh, okay, so here's the Les Paul I ordered a while ago. And um, so the story on this one was I saw it on Ali. It was a actually nat nat no, natural wood finish. There was no color on it. But the one I saw from another store actually was this color. Uh, so I talked to the seller, or tried to talk to the seller. She had a ridiculous uh, shipping charge to Canada. And I was asking her why it was so much and she never did respond to me. So I said, screw, her, screw you. I sent the pictures to the guy I normally get my get these Chinese made from. And I said, can you make this? And he said, yes, no problem. So he um, sent me pictures during the build uh, before it was painted and then after it was painted and then after it was actually put together. So um, I kind of got to see it through its whole uh, nine yards basically. So um, basically this is, from what I can see, is only a two piece body. There's only one joint in it. Um, it does have an, a heel joint, but no scarf joint. Um, it's got a kind of a cool veneer back. There's a couple of spots in the wood. Um, not, not so much blemishes, but just the stuff in the wood. The neck looks pretty nice. It's got the fake gold rovers. Uh, I asked for the gold pickups instead of the black EMGs. Um, and no pick guard. It doesn't have a poker chip. So, I mean, the top is just, uh, hopefully the camera can do it justice. Again, I'll take it. I'll take the camera off and uh, go over this guitar too so you can see the top. It's really something else. Um, spalted maple, basically, from what I, I've read, is uh, is wood that's rotten. It's funny, the term they use on the shiny types is rotten wood. And uh, and that's basically what it is. It's wood that gets a fungus and it starts to rot, and that's what gives it these marks and lines in it. So, um, uh, yeah, it's just kind of an odd thing. I just thought, I thought it was a, you know just a cool color, cool uh top on it and everything so it has an ebony fretboard which I asked for and the only thing I asked for was a black truck guard cover plain truck guard cover, and he didn't uh, send me put a uh, custom one on which is no big deal but yeah so other than that it's uh it's pretty uh pretty nice um again I haven't touched it I put new strings on this one and I didn't adjust the uh the string height on it at all it's actually really low and wax potted I I'm gonna say no. Now, mind you, I haven't ran it through. Like that's uh, not very loud, like with, with, with the exposure on. It. So that's just um, that was a bad monkey first. Oh, uh, tube overdrive. Now I've got it on the super overdrive. A boss super overdrive through this fender hot rod the only thing i've got is the reverb on the uh the fender no other no other um effect so um here it is Oops. here it is clean <laughs>
pickup sounds pretty good. It's, um, it's got a nice full sound. Um, neck's a little fatter on this one. I'm going to say almost like a 50s neck. Um, but that's kind of what I like, so that's not so bad. Um, so here I went with the Super Overdrive. And this is on the a bridge pickup. <laughs> So there it is, um, really uh, beautiful guitar. Um, uh, just uh, I, I spotted it and I thought, oh man, that's really cool. And uh, so went ahead and ordered it and really happy how it came out. Really did a, a nice job on it. Um, and then this uh, this uh, fake uh, Engve Malmsteen. This one, really, it was in the, the Malmsteen. I mean, uh, Ingve Malmsteen is a great guitar player. Um, and, and I like his music and everything. But uh, I was really interested in the scallop neck. And I'll, I'll, um, I'll get the camera out after I'm done here and, and go down the neck so you can actually see. If you've never seen a scallop neck, it's pretty weird. You can really bite underneath the strings. I think that's kind of why he does that. He does a lot of vibrato. And, and uh, there's no way I can play any Ingve, so sorry. But... Uh, Anyway, I'll let you listen to it. This one's going to need a little bit of setup, with the, I think, with the frets and intonation. But so this is clean um, in the bridge pickup. Sounds like a strat. Um, I have one Fender. I have a HSS uh, American-made strat, and that's the only one I own. So it's um, 
it feels very similar to body style and everything. I'm sure it's probably not quite cut the same as the Fender, but anyway, um, so that's uh, that's the clean. Uh, we'll go a little dirty in here. We'll try it with the overdrive. Uh, let's do the overdrive first. <laughs> But uh, anyway, this kind of idea, it's, even though it's, uh, I think it might be a little bit out of tune, I just like that. Just, these are the, the uh, these are the Chinese strings on here, so I haven't changed them yet, so bear with me. Um, even though it's still in tune, but like I said, the information's freaked out a bit on it, so that needs to be done. But uh, there, it says, this is a strange guitar to play if you've never played a scalp neck. It is to me anyway. Um, it's just a different feel. And the, and, the, and the frets are definitely neat. I run some steel rollers off of them. They're just, uh, they're not rusty, but they're just, they got a little bit of a friction to them, right? So, but uh, anyway, I will take the camera down here and uh, we'll take a closer look at, uh, at the guitar. Yeah, well. I hope I'm using my GoPro, so hopefully uh, I'll try to get everything to light here so you can see. So, I mean, it's uh, you can see the pickups say noiseless on them. So, um, there's the bridge with the for the whammy bar. Um, it's just a, a regular jack, Fender jack. The knobs look okay. They, they actually go to ten. They all point in the same direction, which is the first one I've seen come out of China like that. Use it all over the place. Then now you can see the maple on that neck. It's kind of like a, a bit of a curl to it. Even the headstock has it, and you can see the fake logo on top there and the signature and everything. And that doesn't look too bad. It actually looks better than some of the Les Pauls I've seen come out. But you can see now the, uh, the scallop, how they do it. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool. Just roll it over here. Again, the back of the neck. You can see the fender machine heads, great serial numbers. Skunk tail on the back of the neck. The fake Sonoma of California. Blah blah blah. Fake super bullets. 
But as I said, you can see the um, the paint job's really nice on it. Well, like I said, they're all pretty nice. Um, I've never seen a, really a bad paint job on these yet that I've seen. And the neck joint, um, pretty nice tight joint there, you see. One of the better ones I've seen. But that's that one. And this, uh, we'll have a look at the Les Paul. And you can get a good look at the, um, get the shadow out of here at this top. It's really nice. And I don't know if it's going to capture the uh, stripes in the in the maple too. It's got like uh, stripes running up it. And they're actually uh, book matched really Actually, I think, yeah, it is actually a book, book match. They've done a really nice job on that. Some cool pickups. Nice ebony fretboard. Like my last one on the Deluxe or the Supreme. And that's cut really well. The diamond's a little small, I guess. But it does have a real mother of pearl look to it. Um, the back of the neck. Nice... Uh, Mahogany uh, end piece there anyway until you get down to the heel. You can see that in the back. You can see there's some dots in the wood and knots. There is a scratch even. It looks like it's in the grain. You know before they had uh, painted it maybe. It goes right along there but no biggie. I can live with a scratch. In the, well, I can live with a scratch with these things anyway but not the end of the world. It does have a plastic uh, jack. But uh, anyway, there's there it is. Um, you see the, the neck joint in this one's really done well. There's no fret end, no fret nibs, which is good because I don't like them. Chinese can't do them right. So. Um, yeah, so there it is, and uh, really happy. I said but this one came out really nice, and uh, I said they, they said they're both uh, supposed to be good. I've actually the the, the strat was two hundred and sixteen bucks, so I mean. Uh, it's quite cheap, um, especially for a scalp neck. Uh, I don't know how much work that is to do that, but um, but anyway. So there they are. Um, any questions? Any comments? Uh, you know what to do. Just leave them below. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.